I would like to call the November 19th uh, board meeting to order. It is 7.30 a.m. There's a court judgment notice of this meeting has been posted in time and manner required by law. Mr. Jones, please call the roll. Yes, sir. Mr. Scott Carson. Present. Charles Perry. Present. Kyle Hagemeyer. Present. Paulette Trailer. Present. It's Nikita Lagway. Present. My name is Chad Jones. Our missing member is Mr. Cliff Williams. Thank you. Okay. Uh, perfect. Because I see no public here, I'm assuming we have no public comments. All right. Discussing possible action items. Uh, read the uh, proposition from canvassing order in its entirety. So Dr. James will be doing that this morning. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Whereas on November 5th, 2024, there was held within and throughout the territory of the Willis Independent School District an election at which the following propositions were submitted to the resident qualified electors of the district to wit. Proposition 8. Shall the Board of Trustees, the Board of Willis Independent School District, be authorized to issue bonds of the district in one or more series or installments in the amount of $27 million for the construction, acquisition, and equipment of a student activity center and related improvements, which bonds shall mature, bear interest, and be issued and sold in accordance with the law at the time of issuance, and shall the board be authorized to levy, impose, and pledge, and cause to be assessed and collected annual ad valorem taxes on all taxable property in the district sufficient without limits as to rate or amount to pay the principal of interest on the bonds and the cost of any credit agreements, including credit agreements executed or authorized in anticipation of, in relation to, or in connection with the bonds. All is authorized by the Constitution and laws of the United States of Texas and the United States of America. Proposition B. Shall the Board of Trustees of the Willis Independent School District be authorized to issue bonds of the district in one or more series or installments in the amount of $68,800,000 for the construction, acquisition, and equipment of an athletic stadium, complex, and related improvements, which bonds shall mature, bear interest, and be issued and sold in accordance with law at the time of issuance, and shall the Board be authorized to levy, impose, and pledge, and cause to be assessed and collected annual ad valorem taxes on all taxable property in the district sufficient without limit as to rate or amount to pay the principal of and interest on the bonds and the cost of any credit agreements, including credit agreements executed or authorized in anticipation of or in relationship to or in connection with the bonds, all as authorized by the Constitution and laws of the United States of Texas and the United States of America. Proposition C, shall the Board of Trustees of Willis Independent School District be authorized to issue bonds of the district in one or more series or installments in the amount of $19,600,000 for the construction, acquisition, and equipment of an aquatic center and in related improvements which bonds shall mature, bear interest and be issued and sold in accordance with law at the time of issuance, and shall the Board be authorized to levy, impose, and pledge, and cause to be assessed and collected annual ad valorem taxes on all taxable property in the district sufficient without limit as to rate or amount to pay the principal of and interest on the bonds and the cost of any credit agreements, including credit agreements executed or authorized in anticipation of, in relationship to, or in connection with the bonds, all as authorized by the Constitution laws of the United Te States of Texas, the State of Texas, and the United States of America. Whereas the tabulation of the results on the election of Proposition A was as follows. Dashiana, do we have the total? Yeah, Dashiana, do we have the total votes on this? On the motion? Okay, thank you. Sorry, it's not on my script. Uh, proposition A, 11,425 for, 13,652 against. Proposition B, 10,701 for, 14,236 against. And Proposition C, 10,774 and 14,113 against. 
Now, therefore, it is ordered by the Board of Trustees of the Willis Independent School District that Section 1, Election Results, the election was duly called and notice thereof given in accordance with the law. The election was held in the manner required by law. Only resident qualified electors of the district voted at the election. A written return of the election results was made to the district in accordance with the election code and the resident qualified electors of the district voting in the election including absentee voting, voted for or against Proposition A, B, C, respectively, as noted above. Section 2, tabulation of votes. The official return shall be delivered to the Secretary of the Board of Trustees, who is hereby directed to enter in the election register of the tabulation of the votes cast for and against Proposition A, B, and C, respectively, and to pre preserve such tabulations as required by law. Section 3, the notice of our meeting, the Pro Board of Trustees officially finds, determines, recites, and declares that the written notice of the date, hour, place, and subject of the meeting at which this order is adopted and was posted on a bulletin board located at a place convenient to the public at the district's administrative offices for at least 72 hours preceding the scheduled time of the meeting, that a telephonic and telegraphic notice of such meeting was given to all news media who have consented to pay any and all expenses incurred by the district in connection with providing such notice, both as required by Chapter 551, Te Texas Government Code, and that such meeting was open to the public as required by the law at all times during which this order and the subject matter thereof was discussed, considered, and formally acted upon. Section 4, effective date. This order is, immediate, is effective immediately upon its passage and approval. Thank you, Dr. James. Mr. Trager. I move that we accept the superintendent's recommendation and adopt the order canvassing returns and declaring results of Willis ISD November 5th, 2024 as presented. We have a motion <coughs> by Ms. Trailer, second by Mr. Parson. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Motion carries 6-0. Item B, discuss, consider approval, ranking, award, contracts related to the multi-campus HVAC renovation project for Willis High School, Cannon, and Turner Elementary. Good morning. The district has accepted bids for the multi-campus HVAC project on October 31st. We evaluated and scored those individually by the committee based on the criteria given in the RFP. And the committee that consisted of five individuals scored and ranked those based on the published criteria. Uh, the district is recommending um, an award for each project individually, um, and they are as listed. The district also requested some alternate, just to let you know, some alternate projects that we are not going to go forward with. Those you might see, but these are the actions we are asking you to approve. Let SOS with a base of $1,076,115, a contingency of $90,000 for a total of $1,166,115. Also for Turner Elementary, also Letzos, the base was $1,817,835, also with a contingency of $90,000 for a total of $1,907,835. And the final was Willis High School. CFI is who we're recommending. The base was $349,037 with a contingency of $30,000 for a total of $379,037. Mr. Jones, we're backing all these contingencies out? Yes. Okay, great. And all this is going to be carrier equipment, correct? Yes. Okay, I want to, and we're not going to have any problems with time frames, nothing like that? We've we, been told the lead times were sufficient. That's why we're trying to get it to the point now. We're not going to worry about no punitive damages like we were talking about in May about any of this? We're good? Um, I don't, I think we are good. Yeah, I think so too. I appreciate, I was, I was there, you did a great job on that. This is considerable savings from what we were looking at over a million dollars in the savings on these projects for this district. I'm going to say outstanding job. <clears throat> I'd like to make this motion. I move that we accept the superintendent's recommendation and approve the rankings and award the contract and letters for HVAC projects at Cannon Elementary for a total of 
$1,115 and award the contract to Legis for HVAC projects at A.R. Turner Elementary for a total of $1,907,835 and award the contract to CFI for the Willis High School HVAC project for a total amount of $379,037. We have a motion from Mr. Jones, a second by Mr. Carson. Any further discussion? Great job. Thank y'all. That's, that's quite a bit of savings, so we appreciate that. All those in favor? Motion carries 6 0. Item C, discuss consider approval of ranking of general contractors for Willis ISD, new elementary 7, delegate authority to negotiate a contract. So as we said, we received eight bidders for the general contract on October 31st. The committee consisted of six individuals that met on November the 8th. Um, they scored and ranked these based on the published criteria from the RFP. Um, so this is step one. We will bring this back to you. This is giving us authorization to approve the ranking and begin negotiation with the general contractors. And this morning we're presenting these rankings and asking the board to approve the rankings and delegate authority to the superintendent to negotiate a contract. Both will be brought to the board in December. So the ranking is Duratech, Stewart Builders, Gamma Construction, Bartlett Cook, and Flint Co. Yes, sir. A couple questions. If the, Dr. James cannot negotiate percentages out to a fair deal for both parties, she'll be able to go on to number two and number three. Is that correct? Yes. Um, the law states that you begin negotiation with number one based on the criteria. We ranked them, Duratech came number one, so we will negotiate with them. If we cannot come to a term beneficial to both parties, we give them written notice that we are ceasing negotiations, and then we will go to number two and begin the process again. Okay, great. Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. I move that we accept the superintendent's recommendation to accept the ranking general contractor for elementary project number seven and delegate authority to the superintendent to negotiate the contracts in all percentages. We have a motion by Mr. Jones, a second by Mr. Carson. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Motion carries 6 0. At this time, I need a motion to adjourn. Real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compliment her real quick. I didn't do it for the last board meeting. I'm sorry, I should have said something. Uh, a lot of people don't realize we're in the last meeting when we ranked the architects. Uh, that was a month ago, six weeks ago. With the team that was in there with us, Dr. James invited some of us to be able to attend that. We saved this district right at a million dollars in negotiating those contracts out. The, contract, the architecture company were happy, everybody was happy, and that's the kind of savings that I love to tell the taxpayers out here how hard y'all are working to get this done. Okay, that's significant. Y'all don't run around and beat your chest about it, but I was very impressed with that. Just in this project right here, that's another over a million dollars. Okay, and, and, and when y'all don't, we need to do a really good job of letting the community know how hard y'all fight for them because I'm very proud of y'all about that, okay? Some of these architect firms are working in neighboring districts and I see the percentages, okay? And I just want to say thank y'all very much. That's a job well done. Some of these things that didn't pass in this bond referendum, I'm gonna want us to work extremely hard because I want to try to build some of this stuff. My money be safe. And I'm gonna bring that to Kyle and to Dr. James and hopefully we can do some of that. Thank you very much. Perfect. Mr. Carson. We have a motion by Mr. Carson, a second by Ms. Lagway. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Motion carries and we are adjourned. Thank you. It is 744.